Hello everybody, Josh Roney here, back again with another very special video. Today is a unboxing video of a very special radio that came in from St. Louis. I ordered this a few days ago, probably right after Christmas, like on the 25th or 26th. It is the 29th right now, sorry. W WDFA is going a little crazy right now because DeSoto County is under is under some thunderstorms. But with but aside from that, I ordered this on the 26th. It is the 29th as as of the recording, and the weekly test has been activated, as you can see. The weekly test. So, without further ado, let's get started. And I know what's inside this, because I want to place the order. Hold up. Alright, I think that's a pretty good angle. This, here. All right, let's see here. Wow. Uh, this is a big package. All right, so let me get this out of the bubble wrap. Let's see, this is that's the order, order form. You won't really know how to unbox it. You really know how to package it up. Alright. Alright. That could have. Alright. That was a lot easier. Alright. Here it is. The Radio Shack 12 519. I've never owned a Radio Shack ra radio before, and it looks like it's relatively new. It's in the box. The technology you need, plus the knowledge to help you get the most out of it. Let's see, we got a the LCD display here. The speakers are actually these. Right, we, the snooze button is here. Antenna's here. Volume is here, and it says th this also comes with S Skywarn, which I have no idea about. I watched Ari's video, Ari Train Girl, aka Derpy Fire Alarms, and she didn't understand it. And I'm probably gonna be the same situation. So let's get this 519 out of the box. It's a little difficult for me to do this with one hand. Come on. Come on. Hold on. Just a second. There we go. Wow. This radio is a little bigger than I expected. Bigger, bigger than I expected. So let's see here. We got the instruction manual, looks like. And the quick start. Quick start, I don't need, I don't need slash like quick start. Out of the box. There we go. And I believe 
in here is the power cord. And I'm not exactly sure what this is. I'll put that with it as well. All right, that's out of the way. Let's get to this radio, finally. <clears throat> wow. This looks brand new. Let's see, tornado worn. Whoa. Take this off. Peel that off. Put that in the, put it in the trash. All right, here is the 12519 out of the box. Inside, alarm one, set off and on. I'll keep both alarms one and two off. Alert, we'll keep alert on. All right, the antenna is on the back here. Let's see, what else is on the back? The external, the DC, the DC jack, the alert out, not sure what that is, and the aux input. So I think that means you can like plug your phone in or something. And I think that code equals the, the, 09 means like the year's build, so 2009. All right, so. All right, so I think this means that. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. So this requires a total of six batteries, which is the same amount of batteries that my 12262 takes. So I'm guessing this is the Skyworn place. That's, I'm guessing that's where all the Skyworn action happens. Public alert, Noah with Skyworn. So as traditional with the EAS community, we press every single button when we get a new radio. And this radio has a lot of buttons on it. Holy cow. I wasn't expecting this many buttons on one radio. So let's open up this little box here because I think, I think this contains the power, power, power cord. Yep. This contains the power cord and let me this, hold up. Alright. Alright. And, let's see here. I think this is like extra protection. Which you can put that in there. I still have no idea what what this is, but I think this is like, hold up, I think this is for like external and an antenna, or like a replacement antenna, or something, I'm not exactly sure. Oh, that's sweet. So, I think this is the external antenna part. I'm not exactly gonna play around with this because <clears throat> I want to get this unboxing video going because it's already at nine and a half minutes and I want to keep it below. I want to keep this unboxing video no more than half an hour. So, this, this is the AC adapter 12-519. Alright. 
I'm gonna try and see if I even have a like an outlet. I, th I, I'm not. I think this will do, but I'm not exactly. Nope, it's too big. So what I'll do is I moved the WR three eighty three over over so for now i'll just put the 519 over here i gotta get all the wires untangled so yeah the uh, yeah it's kind of loose but It honestly does not matter right now because I, I just really want to get this unboxing and setup video going. Alright, so got that all untangled, so let's go get the let's go get the radio. Alright, here's the radio. Put that right here, right there for now. All right, plug this into here. Here, and I'm gonna s see what it exactly it does. All right, so it looks like it's scanning through all the channels. WX. Tuesday. Mostly sunny in the morning, then becoming partly cloudy. Highs in the lower 40s. The 8 to 14 day outlook for Thursday, January. Alright, how do I stop this? Alright, select channel, auto, and manual. So, like, so like the definition. I don't know how to stop the weather broadcast. Turn it to Skywarn. Hold on. Let me get the instruction manual over here. Because I have no idea how this radio works. All right, so user's guide. All right, so let me flip through this. Um, all right, aux, listen to an external source. All right, so go to W. Recent rainfall has led to rising river levels across much of the region. Motorists should not attempt to drop. All right, there we go. Apparently, this button. I just I just press the aux button right here, and it just turned off the weather broadcast, which makes it a little bit more easier to do this unboxing video. All right, so next left channel, backlight, oh, backlight, high, low, medium, keep it at mid. Next alert volume night. That's night, so alert volume day. I keep 
that similar. That's what the alert sounds like. English. Select English. Set alerts. There's going to be a bit of a time skip here, so... So I'm going to enable every single alert, so it'll go off for those alerts. And I will... And I will... So it'll cut out and then start back up again. So let me enable, I'll enable all these alerts first and then I'll cut and then it'll, then I'll start back up the camera again. <clears throat> all right, so I have just enabled every single alert on this radio. So same code, uh, I'll do all. Uh, I think single, I think all has been selected, so I'll move on to the next one. Signal reminder, I'm not exactly sure what this is, so I'll turn that on. Alert reminder, I think I'll turn that on as well. I also have no idea what that is. Alright. Like alert mode. Alright, so voice and tone. Of course, I like it. I like all my radios at voice. And I think that's about it. Hold on. Menu. Alright, now I need to set up the clock. So... Aha! Clock! It's up here. Clock. I think I hold it down. And right now it is... 3.41pm, so... Gotta scroll to a one, two, three. Let's see. I'll make that up just change to three forty two PM. Three forty two PM and select and let's see AM. FM, I'll turn this to the diamond. Alright. Alright, so now I have M1. M1 is. Indiana. It was cloudy. It was right, let me turn Chicago, it down the bottom a little bit. reported 40, Cincinnati reported 48, and Louisville reported 54. Once again, at Indianapolis, it was 42 degrees with cloudy skies. The National Weather Service in Indianapolis has issued a flood warning for the following rivers in Indiana, Young's Creek at Amity. Recent rainfall has led to rising river levels across much of the region. Motorists should not attempt to drive around barricades or drive cars through flooded areas. Additional information is available at www.weather.gov slash ING. The next statement should be issued this evening by around 6.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And end. Alright, so after that quick little NWS message, I need to... F I need to find out what... what exactly Skywarn is. Alright, so let's go Skywarn and scan. It's going through all these channels. It looks like it goes up to 20. So... 
Anything going on here? Alright, so I don't think there's anything going on in terms of Skywarn right now. Which is okay because right now it doesn't entirely matter because Indianapolis isn't facing any like severe weather unlike well unlike DeSoto County. But but that is I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. Alright, so I covered that. I covered that. Covered everything on here. I already covered the that, that. So that is going to do it for the unboxing of the Radio Shack 12-519. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, and share if you want to. And I hope you all really enjoyed the unboxing video. Thank you all for watching. This is Josh Brony signing out, signing out, and wishing you all a happy 2022. Bye bye, everyone. Okay, so one actual thing before I go. While I was in the process of moving this, because I'm moving this from that table over there to next to my PC here, I noticed something in the battery compartment where it has this ALK and RCH. I... I think this means like alkaline and rechargeable. Now, obviously the, ba the batteries I use are rechargeable, but I think that's something that I haven't seen anyone point out in terms of this radio since I don't think Ari pointed out when she did her unboxing of the radio but that is the actual end of it I hope you all enjoyed this I'm sorry for the sorry for this little clip here I just realized this feature right now right as I'm moving this radio but thank you all for watching goodbye